Guess what? Somebody in Sacramento is throwing a New Year's Eve costume party and the theme is surreal. So uh, I'm going, I'm really excited about it. It's in five days, so I don't have very much time to build something, uh, but that's a pretty fun build, surreal. I uh, also came up with some uh, original ideas. So one would be like uh, a beating heart around my body. Uh, surreal art usually has like an anatomical um, component to it. So I thought a heart would be good, something that people haven't seen before. And that made me think of something with um, liquid pumping around it, like a sphere with liquid pumping around the outside would be uh, really fun to build and cool. Uh, I thought about a, a giant face with giant glasses. That'd be fun to do. Or um, just a jaw with teeth. Uh, then I thought of a pirate ship uh, as a hat, like a giant pirate ship with a hat with like an anchor or um, fishing poles with fishing lines hanging down uh, with different things hanging from the ship. Uh, so what I settled on was not a pirate ship, but a container ship. And what better container ship than the Ever Given that um, was stuck in the Suez Canal. I searched for some clear shots of the Ever Given that I could use to build the ship at the correct proportions. The actual ship is so long and thin that it was hard to capture in a single photo. So I got a lot of um, like three quarter view or um, just angle of views of the ship from uh, ground level. Uh, here's the front. Here's the back. Here's a shot from the air. This shows its true proportions pretty well. Uh, and then here's a shot from the back of the containers. I planned on supporting the ship with a PVC frame and shoulder harness. Anywhere the frame was going to be under stress, I used a single bent piece of PVC rather than using uh, T-joints or elbow joints. Uh, here I've lined up the uh, printouts. And, uh, here's some printouts on the top of the box. This should look like the top of the container when it's all together. All right, so uh, uh, the ship is looking pretty good. I'll paint this black and then um, uh, finish up the front and the back of the ship. I modeled a simplified bow of the ship and printed it in plastic. It came out kind of nice. I wasn't happy with the harness supports so close to my face, so I remade them uh, to sit behind my back. This is the torn up jacket. Just for practice. It was super light and ridiculous. <laughs> How's that? <laughs>
<laughs> it's good. <laughs> well, obviously it's lightweight, <laughs> so that's good. I'd say it's like four pounds, maybe. But I'll weigh it. Looks awesome, or feels awesome. The party was great. Um, I was skeptical that a party with such uh, steep requirements for a costume, uh, which is that it was surreal plus it was formal, formal dress and uh, that it could be successful, but um, it was. It was totally successful. A lot of people showed up and everyone was dressed up. 99% um, of women and 90% of men were in costume. My uh, container ship outfit did not win first prize, but I got an honorable mention for uh, He Understood the Assignment, which was great on stage. Um, I had a great time and I met new friends and I traded tricks with some other uh, local artists who were there. It was a very cool crowd. I did not end up with a good video. So instead, I'm going to treat you to nine motion photos of the festivities. <laughs> I'm sorry and enjoy. Enjoy.